Elegy 14, of Erotica Romana, by Johann Wolfgang Goethe. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Elegy 14. Can't you hear voices, beloved, out on the Via Fomina? Reapers are now going home, back from harvesting grain. They had journeyed to Rome from afar, and here plated for Ceres wreaths which the Romans today scorn to make for themselves. Festivals no longer celebrate Ceres, the nourishing goddess, who replaced acorns of old, giving man golden wheat. Let us commemorate her then ourselves in festival private, to constitute a whole tribe, when they are two in love. Have you by any chance heard how that mystical strange celebration followed victorious troops back from Eleusis to Rome? Greeks were the ones who began it and only to Greeks they proclaimed it, even within Roman walls. Come to the sanctified night. Those who were not of the cult kept their distance. Neophytes trembled, waiting in garments of white, symbol of all that is pure. Then the initiates must aimlessly wander about through the eerie circles of figures, as if pilgriming through their own dreams. Snakes on the ground were writhing about. Now virgins came bearing caskets securely locked, richly wreathed with grain. Surely the gestures of murmuring priests must contain some deep meaning. Impatient acolytes wait, anxiously hoping for light. Not until after many a testing and trial did they discover what, within sacred ring, secretive image concealed. What was this mystery other than this? That Demeter, goddess, once upon a time had to a hero been kind. It was to Jason, powerful king of the Cretans, she granted of her immortal self-hidden sweet parts to explore. That made the fortune of Crete. The marital bed of the goddess soon grew pregnant with grain, heavy her bounteous fields. As for the rest of the world, it languished away, while Ceres, derelict of her true task, dalliance offered in love. Now the initiate youths, having followed this tale all astonished, turned and beckoned their loves. Love, do you comprehend? See there the sacred shade beneath that bushy-bowed myrtle. Our satisfaction will there scarcely endanger a world. End of Elegy 14.